It's likely a gas giant almost as big as its nearest planetary neighbor, Neptune. What if the most profound mystery in our solar system wasn't a myth, but a hidden reality? What if, at the cold, dark frontier beyond Neptune, beyond Pluto, and even the scattered objects of the Kuiper Belt, something massive has been lurking, undetected, undisturbed, until now? For decades, astronomers have speculated about the existence of a hidden world. Planet Nine, a colossal, unseen object whose gravitational influence subtly distorts the orbits of distant celestial bodies. It was a ghost in the equations, a mathematical shadow whispered by physics, hinted at in the strange motions of icy objects orbiting the edge of our solar system. But now, theory may be giving way to evidence, because hidden in the mountains of data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope, buried beneath terabytes of cosmic noise, a breakthrough quantum AI system has detected something astonishing. A gravitational anomaly, an infrared echo, a statistical certainty, and NASA scientists reportedly speechless. It all began not with a telescope pointed at a single dot in space, but with data. Endless, beautiful, chaotic data. JWST's deep field scans were originally meant to study distant galaxies, the early universe, the echoes of creation itself. But within those scans of the outer solar system, regions astronomers seldom prioritized, were countless faint smudges of light dismissed as background noise, artifacts, or minor debris. But to a quantum AI system, this wasn't noise, it was language. This system wasn't a typical image processor. It didn't analyze one frame at a time or look for bright spots. Instead, using principles of quantum probability, entanglement, and nonlinear data structuring, it created a probability matrix, a living, breathing simulation of how mass and light should behave in the farthest reaches of our solar system. For 72 hours, it ran uninterrupted, comparing every pixel of JWS's infrared scans with gravitational models, every distortion in the background light, every slow-moving infrared whisper. And then it found it. Final system log anomaly confirmed. Candidate object detected. The data was unmistakable. A faint, slow-moving object, causing measurable distortions in the orbits of distant trans-Neptunian objects. It reflected a specific band of infrared light. It shouldn't have been there, but it was. This wasn't just a blip. It was a consistent pattern, a gravitational fingerprint that matched what theoretical physicists had been predicting for nearly a decade. Mass between five and ten times that of Earth. Orbit elliptical, extending far beyond Pluto, taking thousands of years to complete a single revolution around the Sun. Light, faint but present, reflective, cold, mysterious. This object, if confirmed, could finally be the long-sought Planet Nine, but the story doesn't end there. Astronomers and astrophysicists are now split between two primary theories. Both are radical. Both could redefine what we think we know. Theory A, the massive planet. Planet Nine is indeed a gas or ice giant, a distant cousin of Neptune, formed closer to the Sun and flung outward during the early chaos of solar system formation. Its massive gravity shapes the strange, clustered orbits of distant Kuiper Belt objects. It's the hidden shepherd, silently guiding frozen worlds from afar. If true, this would be the most significant planetary discovery since Neptune in 1846. It would force us to re-examine our models of solar system formation, perhaps even prompting a new planetary classification. But then, there's Theory B, the one that sends chills down the spine of even the most skeptical physicists. Theory B, a primordial black hole. What if this isn't a planet, but a black hole? Not the kind that swallows stars whole. No, something far stranger, a primordial black hole the size of a grapefruit but with the mass of Earth, a remnant of the Big Bang, something older than the solar system itself. It would be invisible to visible light, but its mass would exert gravitational influence. And the infrared echo detected could be radiation from material or particles nearby, perhaps even Hawking radiation or gravitational lensing effects. This theory, once fringe, now has support from the very data extracted by quantum AI. Either way, the implications are unprecedented. The mystery deepens. The object's movement isn't smooth. It wobbles. Irregularities in its gravitational path suggest it might not be alone. Could it have a moon, a ring system, or is it part of a larger structure? 
Then came the most stunning discovery, a rhythmic pulse in its thermal signature. Every 11.6 hours, the object emits a narrow-band infrared reflection, like a heartbeat. Some scientists say it could be natural, a rotating body perhaps. But others ask, could it be artificial? Could we be looking at the remnant of an ancient alien system, a dormant probe, a megastructure, a leftover from a civilization that mastered quantum gravity? It sounds like science fiction. But now the science is catching up to the fiction. Each gravitational nudge, each orbital quirk, each stray photon is a breadcrumb in a cosmic puzzle. And the quantum AI system, it's not just analyzing, it's reconstructing. Using probabilistic fields, it projects where light should be if a massive object were hiding in the void. It builds not just an image, but a dynamic simulation, evolving in real time. This is not enhancement. This is revelation. With a 97.2% confidence score, the AI narrowed the object's location to within 0.3 degrees of celestial latitude, unheard of for something so far so dark, so elusive. We're not just witnessing the discovery of a new planet, we're confronting the possibility of captive rogue planets, hidden stellar remnants, primordial cosmic anomalies, and maybe, just maybe, technological relics of unknown origin. Some theorists believe Planet Nine may have originated in another solar system a cosmic refugee captured by our sun's gravity. Others propose it could be the dense core of a failed binary star system, a ghost star, a cosmic remnant. If true, the definitions of planet, star, and system begin to blur. Thanks to the synergy of James Webb's infrared eye and quantum AI's interpretive brain, we are entering a new era of cosmic exploration. This isn't just about finding Planet Nine, it's about unlocking a method, an entirely new paradigm for understanding the universe. One where gravitational whispers are as loud as starlight, and every anomaly could be the start of a discovery that redefines everything. And here's the most thrilling part, we're just getting started. So what is it? A lost planet? A black hole born before time? A relic of an advanced civilization? or something we haven't even imagined yet. The answer lies at the edge of the solar system, waiting for us to look deeper, to question harder, to imagine further, because in the darkness beyond Pluto, something waits. Subscribe if this changed how you see the solar system. In the next video, we'll journey even further into the story of an ancient star that shouldn't exist, and what it reveals about the fabric of time itself. Because the cosmos is more than a collection of rocks and gas it's a story. And we've only just turned the page. Thank you for watching another episode of Alizeb. While you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe.